Hi, my name is Dan Schmidt and this is Team Chicago Challenge. We're in Beloit and uh, we're right here at Riverside Park for the Beloit Winterfest. And today we're going to be looking at motorcycle racing and there's a few quad classes. This race is brought to you by Beloit, Honda, Yamaha, and Suzuki. And the boys with the toys over there put this event on. In fact, we've got the guys that work at Beloit, the Honda, Yamaha. They're going to have a celebrity race to see who the king of the hill over at the shop is. So we're going to... Um, watch that race. We're going to watch some motorcycle racing, quad racing. We've got a couple pro class. We've got some real fast racing. And uh, we got to thank the City of Beloit and the Recreational Department and the Travel Bureau and everybody from Beloit for helping to put this on. The track is absolutely perfect and we're going to have some big fun out here in Beloit. So let's go check out the first race at this Winterfest in Beloit, Wisconsin. First race you look at is the 250 Pro jumping out front is Jeff Fredette. Jeff Fredette with Jeff Fredette Racing, Kawasaki, Danny Peterson on the Honda is running second, number 77. Jeff Fredette sponsored by Kawasaki Team Green. Malcolm Smith Racing, Cold Cutters, Kenda, Scott, JM, Metzler, Fredette Racing Products. Number 158 is Dave Dupree from Plainfield, Illinois, also on a Kawasaki as you watch Jeff Fredette running that inside line. Danny Peterson's trying the high line, the low line to get around him, but nothing seems to be working. Tom Luther is running in fourth place. He's on that Pro Source Yamaha. Pro Source, a speed shop out in West Chicago, Illinois. Dave Dupree still in third. Tom Luther's trying to high line, low line to get around. But Dave Dupree is not giving him an inch on the inside. Danny Peterson's trying to move on the inside, outside. Get the job done. One lap to go. At this Beloit Honda Yamaha sponsored Winterfest, Beloit Winterfest. Going on to pick up the win in the first event is Jeff Fredette from Beecher, Illinois. Danny Peterson second. And now we're looking at the two mini bikes. On this Pro Source little 50 is Greg Luther. Tom Luther's son. And on the 80 is James Robinson from Beloit, Wisconsin. Greg Luther's from Addison, Illinois. We're all the young talent that come up through ice racing. Here's a couple examples of a couple young kids having a great time on a Sunday afternoon. Nice, clean, neat environment. Racing motorcycles in the winter time. And they both picked up first place in their classes. And what little Greg Luther on this pro source modified 50 automatic now we're gonna get the senior class jumping up front take Mr. Ice with Jerry Westhouse we borrow the Kawasaki from Jeff Fredette Going in second place, that's me. I borrowed Bill Tavellis' 250 Honda, because I had problems with my Yamaha. The Jerry Westhouse from Mount Prospect, Illinois, is up front. Third place. This is Dave Mertz from Rockford. 
Watch Rich Wabeezer. Uh, the oldest guy out there. He's on that Cyclecraft Yamaha 250. He tried the inside line, that didn't work. Now he's moving on the outside line. Whoa! Dave Mertz goes down. Come back, Jerry Westhouse is starting to wrap some of the riders. I'm giving chase. Trying to get used to this 250 Honda. Picking up the win was Jerry Westhouse, second place was me, third place with the Rich Wallbeezer. At this Beloit Winterfest in Riverside Park. And now we're looking at unstudded quads. A bunch of local racers came out. Jumping up front is number 44. That's Dave Fridlett from Byron, Illinois. Down a Honda. You see him racing around, trying to find some traction. Second place, one end, is Richard Fridley from Rockford, Illinois. And the 77 is trying to make the charge. That's Rex Stevenberg. Rex is trying it outside the line. He gets around Richard Fridley. To the front, holding on to that pole. And the 44, that's Dave Fridlett from Byron, Illinois. 97's up there. It's Stephen Page. Trying to make the move on the outside. Stephen Page trying to make the move. Watch these guys. Free for traction, on the move now, number 77. It's Rex Stukenberg. Hanna Honda makes his inside move. Will he make it? Looks like he's getting a little traction on the inside, moves into stone third, bottleneck in turn three and four. Battled out in the front straight as they bump tires. Whoa, wheel to wheel, three wide, going down the back straightaway. And making it up to the front and picking up the win. Number 77, that's Rex Stukenberg from Byron, Illinois. Second place went to Steve Page, third place, went to Richard Friendly. They run these unstudded quads, Beloit, Wisconsin. And now we're gonna hit the 250 class, down on the inside, that's me, on the Yamaha. But we're gonna hit Pogo Stick Pogo. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. My rear shock got totally blown out. It is not working at all. No matter what I do, stay on the gas, but the only way you get around the track. But the 125 jumped up front. Mike Freiberg from Illinois, Harley Davidson. Leading with number three. Glenn Miro from Chicago, second place in the 125 class up front.
6.13. This is like Jameson Shasho from Fort Atkinson is leading. I'm in third. Second place is Bill Cavellis from Chicago. What's the rear suspension out of this thing? What's it Pogo? The rear shack is totally gone. Shack. 51 is Dave Narvo from Romeoville. As we watch Mike Freeberg, the motorcycle road racer, leading, running great laps. Second place is Glenn Miro, that's the 125 class. The 250 class is Jameson Shasho, is leading. William Cavellis, Bill Cavellis is second. I'm running third. As Bill gives charge here. And yet Honda trying to make the move on the outside. Picking up the win. Let's go talk to Bill Cavellis. I'm with Bill Cavellis who is out here racing and because we have a shock problem with this bike, he's gonna let me ride his Honda in the senior class, and then I'm going to have to race you with this bike right. in that 250 class. So last week, you didn't make it to Anago. You made it up here to Boyd. Now, have you ever ice raced before? Never ice raced before. All right. Well, it was George Mack and me that put the pressure on you and said, come on out, get a bike ready. What do you think of this ice racing? It's a fun. I had a blast. It's the greatest thing I've done all winter. Um, you know, racing's racing. That's why I came on. You guys have been trying to talk me into it for years, and I wish I would have done it sooner. Yeah, and it's not too cold, is it? Not today. Last week was. No, no. I was up there. I didn't get cold once. I mean, when you're out there going 90 miles an hour here, I guess we're going to be doing yeah. about 60 miles an hour. So what about that Honda? You, know, you got the Honda, you got the Rotex. Yeah. Now, is that basically your play bike like this one? Yeah, the Honda is a play bike. You know, I've had it since 1989, and I just raced motocross with it. And just tool around enduros and stuff with it and figure it'd be a good bike to bring out here on the ice for the first time. Yeah. The Rotax you got a bump start. Didn't want to have to push start that. Yeah, that thing starts nice and easy. And yeah. the tires work pretty good. Uh, Everything what do you, works good. What yeah. do you think? How do you think you're going to do in the second moto? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to, you know, just ride within myself and ride uh, to have fun. Okay. All right. Well, let's go about and check some more of this ice racing action from Beloit Winterfest. First look at his studded quads. Up front, that looks like Daryl Lampkin from Delvin, Wisconsin. A 27, on the move. It's Brad Fisher from Wakanda, Illinois. And the 35 still up front. 27, 69. Then in third, it's Tim Dix from Beloit, Wisconsin, local guy. Zana Suzuki. It's like Jim Brushman's running fourth. Tim Schilling's back there. But really making the move, going on to pick up the win with Daryl Lemkins from Delvin, Wisconsin. Now we're looking at the Vets class. It's for riders over 30. But Bill Cavellis on the 250 Honda running second up front. Don Walbezer on the Cyclocraft 600 Yamaha four stroke. Mark Hansen's also on a Cyclocraft 600. Four-stroke Yamaha is running third. Don Walbezer has got this track dialed today. Here he had four-stroke horsepower at 600 Yamaha. With a nice smooth style. Battle for second rages, but Bill Cavellis on the 250 Honda seems to have the good line. Seven. It's Tom Hendrickson. He's on that Yamaha 250. There's a bike he picked up for $500. And Dave Hendrickson, his brother, is riding the pogo stick. 
the WR250 Yamaha, now you know why you need rear shocks. <laughs> Dave rode bravely. Going on to pick up the win with Don Wallbees running at Cyclecraft Yamaha. Second place was Bill Cavellas from Chicago on the Honda. Third place went to Mark Hansen, also on the 600 Yamaha Cyclecraft. Fourth place went to Tom Hendrickson and Dave Hendrickson. Picked up fifth in his Vets class in Beloit. Next race you're looking at is the open class. Jumping up front, number two is Randy Livingston from Rockford, Illinois, and at Kawasaki. Second place to give it chase is Randy Smith from Bowenbrook, Illinois, and at Honda. Third place to play Kerry Kaur. Randy Smith making move on the inside. Going by Randy Livingston. And his young rider, hold on. A nice smooth style. Randy Livingston is on the gas on that Kawasaki. Whoa, he makes the move on the inside. Slides wide. Randy Smith is still up front. Check that. Randy Livingston has moved back to the front. Kerry Core from East Dundee is running in third place. Then he had big four stroke, Chicago Cycle four stroke. Watch him in the open class, the Winterfest. In Beloit, Randy Smith. Trying to catch Randy Livingston. But going on to pick up the win was Randy Livingston, second place, Randy Smith, third place, went to Gary Core. The last race we're going to look at is the Open Pro. We run through the set of races. Just for that, jumping up front. Don Wallbeezer's running second. Vern Brown and the B&B coding. Rotex is running third. So it's Don Wallbeezer and that Cyclecraft 600 Yamaha, but Jeff Burdett with that open class Kawasaki at the nice smooth inside line. This ISDE, 10-time gold medalist. And you have Debt Racing, Kawasaki, Vern Brown is trying to make the move on Don Wallbeezer. Two 600s, Yamaha on the inside, Rotex on the outside. He's got the better moves. Vern Brown makes a move on the inside. Big second place. Jeff Fredette goes on to pick up the win. And now we're looking at the celebrity race, the Beloit Honda Yamaha Suzuki sponsored race. This is all the employees from Beloit Honda Yamaha Suzuki plus the superintendent of public works from the city of Beloit, Dick Kinzer. But jumping up front is Matt Erickson. Right with him is Derek Shaverly. He was a mechanic and he road races. Third place looks like Jeff Baum. Fourth place from the Public Works Department of the City of Beloit is Dick Kinzer and Nick Yamaha. Steve Asman is riding the Team Chicago WR Pogo Stick Yamaha. I told Steve to try another bike, but he liked riding my bike, but he found out it was a bad move. As Matt Erickson is still waiting, we watch Dick Kinzer from the City of Beloit, Public Works, 
right in Tom Hendrickson's Yamaha. He's running a nice, steady line. Meanwhile, up front, Nick Erickson is getting a challenge from Derek Shaverly. Derek who road races with CCS. He's running a nice, easy line. He's never ice raced. Whoa! Matt makes a slip. Derek goes on. Get the lead. Matt is trying to make the charge. In the meantime, Jeff Baum is running third place. Dick Kinzer's running fourth. Come on, Matt. Can he make the move? He's going on to pick up the win with Derek Shaverly. Second place was Matt Erickson. Third place went to Jeff Baum. And now we're going to go talk to the superintendent of public works from the city of Beloit. I'm with Dick Kinzer, who's with Public Works with the city of Beloit, and it's part of his guys that helped put this thing together, and uh, we got this track is absolutely perfect, laid it out, and I, I don't know how else we can thank the city of Beloit, because this is really a great event. We got the Park District, we got the Travel Bureau, we got the Tourist Bureau, we got everybody involved in this uh, Winter Fest, so is this going to be an annual thing? I mean, this is the 12th annual, but are you guys pretty happy with the motorcycle racing? Well, uh, I believe so. Uh, just look at the amount of people that were here and everything, and, and I, I myself would like to thank you, and I'd like to thank Lori Jones and the uh, Boyd Honda for letting me participate in this race. Oh yeah, we should mention that. We, <laughs> in the celebrity race, we get, we uh, got you on a bike, so there's yeah. four guys that worked at Boyd Honda, and you joined them and uh, finished fourth place. I mean, how right. can you... Uh, what more can you ask? Right, right. And I guess I was the only one to take a good spill in a practice lap, so... <laughs> well, do you ride yourself? No, I don't. Uh, last time I was on a motorcycle was about 12 years ago. Oh, really? Just the road. I had a 750 Honda. And right, was, right. That's it, and I you know, you, you get 48 years old, you get that urge to do something, and I, I got agree. the urge, and, I got the urge, and uh, Lori Jones helped out a lot and got me the ride. And yeah, this is great. This is great. And, and are you amazed about how much traction you get out there? It's, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's, uh, except for when I fell that time and, and why I did it, I don't know, but... Right, right. It, you give it gas and you're, you you just go. Right, yeah, yeah. So can we expect you uh, to be in the celebrity? Because they, they've got a trophy now at Beloit for the the king of the hill. So you got to be back here next year and you got another chance at getting that trophy. Well, I'll be here and I hope to be in a little better shape because I didn't know it was that uh, uh, train on the right, body. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah, you got, well, we'll know we'll be back here again. Again, we'll be the third week in January next year. Yep, as far as I know. As far okay. as I know, Lee Fass at the head of the parks, uh, they all set it up, but they had beautiful weather, like I said, and better than rain, like I guess last year. Yeah, no, this is great. This is great. Okay, well, I want to thank you again, and I want to thank uh, everybody from Beloit, and uh, let's go back and check out some more of this racing action from Beloit. We're looking at the final moto for the 250 Pro Class. Jumping up front, Jeff Fadette, second place, Dave Dupree. Third place, like Danny Peterson, Tom Luther on that Pro Source Yamaha is running fourth. Danny Peterson makes the move on the inside. Can he hold it? Jeff Fredette's got the outside line. Danny Peterson inside. Jeff Fredette's on the outside. Danny Peterson from Franklin Park, Illinois. On the Honda, Jeff Fredette on the Kawasaki. Danny, hold on. Jeff goes wide. Danny goes low. And then to pick up the win is Danny Peterson, Jeff for that second. And now we're looking at the open pro class. Fern Brown and that B&B coding Rotex is standing with Jeff for that on that 500 Kawasaki. Fern Brown find the outside line. Jeff for has got the inside line. Turn Brown on the gas. Wheel to wheel. Can he make it? Whoa! Bird! Oh, man. He's been saying he's been having tires going down in air. Going on to pick up the win. Music for the show by Engine. Mike Freeze, Intrigue, and Travesty. And all this music recorded. Fireside Studios, Westchester, Illinois. Jeff Burdett beats Dave Dupree to the line.
It was a great day racing in Beloit. And once I got that shock fixed, I started winning a good number of races with my 250 Yamaha. A special thanks to the City of Beloit, Public Works Department, the Park District, and my good friends at Beloit Honda. Steve and the crew, what a great group of guys. What a great group to work with. It was great putting on this race in Beloit. Contact me, it's teamdan45 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from my audience. Remember, you can always search on YouTube with Dan Schmidt Motorcycle Racing for great motorcycle racing action. And I'll be launching stuff up the Rumble also. So check it out with Dan Schmidt TV. And I highly encourage you to visit the World of Motorcycle Museum, Winnemac, Indiana. That's four miles south of North Judson. They're on Indiana Highway 39. Give them a call first at 574-896-3172. It's a great trip and a great collection of motorcycles.